Hi, I'm Jim Rogers. I'm the executive chef and partner here at Tuscan Kitchen in Salem, New Hampshire. Today we're going to make a crushed red pepper lemon aioli to go with crispy calamari. The first thing we need to do is we take egg yolks, and you can use a blender, a roboku, or your home appliance, that's fine. I'm choosing to use a stainless steel bowl here today, and I've stabilized the bowl by using a saucepan and a napkin because you're going to need to whip your egg yolks a little bit so they become light and frothy. And just a simple whisk, and get this, this action going here. And the reason that I have the cloth in there, because you're, at one point you're going to need to use the other hand to use your extra virgin olive oil to put in there. So you whip these until they become light and airy. And this takes about 45 seconds or so, depending on your whipping speed. We're flavoring this aioli with crushed red pepper, lemon. You can again use this, this simple uh, base ingredient here of eggs and olive oil to then flavor it however you like. You can put some fresh basil in here. Um, lots of people use aiolis in different ways. Um, for this application, the lemon and the crushed red pepper will be the finishing flavors here. Get to see how it's turning a little yellow or a little lighter in color. That's what you're looking for here. Then you can start to, now this is where you don't want the bowl to move too much and you want to start to drizzle in a little bit of olive oil at a time, incorporating it in. Don't put too much in at once. The egg yolks will not emulsify the oil at, at, at the same time. A little bit more, a little bit more. It'll start to thicken on you. That's what you want. You want to have a nice sauce consistency is what you're looking for. Now we're ready to put our flavorings in here. We start with a little bit of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard in there. We add a little bit of shallot. Minced shallots in there. We add a little bit of minced garlic. Beautiful. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now you want to pinch this in here a little bit. One thing about cooking, you can always add more, but you can't take out. So just by putting a putting in there, we can go back and check the flavor later. Just some people like different degrees of uh, heat here. The cayenne pepper will will really give you a lot of heat. I'm going to incorporate that in a little bit. Put in a little lemon juice in here, and then a little bit of salt. Touch of black pepper. And then we finish with a little chopped flat leaf Italian parsley. Give it some great color. And you have a great sauce to use here. Now for the purposes of calamari, we like to put the sauce on a little side dish so you can dip the calamari. And there you have it. This is a lemon crushed red pepper aioli. When purchasing calamari, you want to try and buy fresh calamari, if possible, at your local seafood shop. You can buy frozen calamari, though, but fresh always will be better. Just look for, same thing when you're looking for fish. You want something that doesn't have any odor, and it has a nice look to it. So this is some fresh calamari here. We have the rings and the tentacles. And if you buy the bodies, you want to slice them in a uniform size so they cook at the same time. So we're going to take our calamari. We're going to put it in a bowl. We're going to take our little uh, fennel here that we have at Tuscan Kitchen. This is a little... Italian twist on it. We put some sliced fresh fennel. We take some half and half or light cream, whichever you have. We soak that for about 15 seconds. Just move this around a little bit in here. While that's moving around, we take our flour, which is a combination of AP flour and double zero flour. Double zero flour is a soft flour from Italy that we use here. It just helps give a real lightness to the dish. If for some reason you can't find double zero flour, all AP flour is fine. So we're going to season this up with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. All right, then we're going to take our calamari out, put it in the mixture, a calamari fennel mixture here. Just drain off a little bit of that excess cream. There we go. All right, we got it all out there. Fantastic. We're going to toss this around a little bit just so it's all coated evenly. You want to make sure that we get all the calamari coated and all the fennel. Fantastic there. All right there. Now we want to get off any excess flour before we go to the fryer. Now here at the restaurant we have a fry later. If you're at home, you're most likely not gonna have a fry later. You can take a pot, of, a pot, put some canola corn oil in it, put a thermometer and heat it to 350 degrees. Once you get it to 350 degrees, just turn the flame down so it stays at a consistent heat. So here we are, we're going to shake this off a little bit, get the excess off, and now we're ready to go into the fryer later, or your nice 350 degree pot.
for about 45 seconds. So once that's golden and your 45 seconds are up, I'm going to shake off a little bit of excess oil, put it on a, this is a plate, the Pappers plate, but at home you could use a little paper towel to dab off any excess oil, but it's fairly light and oil free as you can see. What we do is we like to put a little bit of a grilled lettuce now. The presentation is totally up to you at this point, but this creates, you'll see with the aioli, a little bit of a salad. So we now put this calamari on the plate. We use a little bit of grilled lemon. Nice to squeeze over when you want the lemon. We put on the uh, crushed red pepper lemon aioli for dipping. And there you have it, crispy fried calamari with crushed red pepper lemon aioli. Enjoy.